look, Joko here. So, being a YouTube stylist and life coach, it is my job and obligation to set trends. And as you know, I do that very well. One such stylistic trend and lifestyle choice that I've been quite literally pioneering for the last year is what I coined Nouveau Hippie Chic. And as you can see, I pull it off rather well. But the inevitable fact of being a stylist is that people are gonna wanna gonna copy you. And that's kind of the point. You know, the sincerest form of flattery is being a fucking copycat dickhead. And I'm completely cool with people doing that. It's fine, you know, if I wasn't me, I also would want to copy me. It's obvious. But the inevitable fact is, and the hardship I have to go through as a stylist is, when so many people have copied your look, you don't look like the trendsetter anymore. And that can be tough. So you have to revolutionize yourself, change yourself, better yourself, like I'm gonna do. Not that I need to get better, or could get better, that's not possible, but I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change my look, and I'm gonna come up with something so inspirational that all you copycat dickheads who wanna gonna do this thing, you ain't gonna be able to, because it's gonna be too inspirational for you. Jacob Bauer. Hello, Jacob back again. So, I'm walking on my way to my personal barbers. People who understand words will say that you cannot get better than perfect, but they don't understand me, because I completely disprove that. Because my look, my style now, is already super inspirational and somewhat perfect. But when I get freshened up, looking amazing, I'm gonna be better than perfect. It's kind of like a graph. You get to the top, it's a plateau. But with me, that plateau just keeps on rising. Jacob out. Uh, hello, Jacob here. So, I've just come out of a super secret location where my personal barber is located. And I made the choice not to film in that place because it is like a sacred temple or religious holy site there. When you're developing a look, you undergo a ritual where you are a salamander rising from the ashes, reborn with a new look. And as you can see, it's fucking incredible. And also, another place that you never film is a high-tech research lab, such as MIT or Area 51. If you go snooping around those places with your camera, you're gonna get shot. And I wouldn't shoot anyone near my barber, but the point remains, don't go near that place. And also, you know, when Leonardo DiCaprio was painting the Mona Lisa, he didn't have people going around there filming him because it wasn't right, it's disrespectful. So you should never ever film in a barber's because when you create something this beautiful, you don't want to see the stages there, the halfway between. It's not fair, it's not right. And, you know, I now have the responsibility and duty as a stylist and life coach to coin a new term for my new look. So I'm gonna get racking my brains and come up with something. Jacob out. Hello, Jacob here. So I've been thinking a little bit more about what I should name my new look. And it was a toss up between Super Nouveau Pastiche or Nouveau Super Inspirational. And they're both fucking amazing. That's what makes it so difficult. Maybe I could get some help from my viewers. If you have any recommendations, please leave comments. I doubt they'll be as good as mine, but I will consider them. Jacob. Bob.